Now I've started Frankenstein the monster. You can see I'm working on the nose right now. And I start by using my trusty chainsaw. So we got the nose roughed out right there. You'll notice from the very top to the very bottom of the chin line right there, the in-between point is nine inches and that's where the eyes go. That's because Frankenstein has a very big forehead. Now this part of Frankenstein will only go up to his hips and then that block that it's resting on right now will be the legs and the base. These photographs are really key to getting the, the feeling. You know that 19, what was it, in the 30's Frankenstein movie? It's awesome, wasn't it? And then the Aurora um, sculpture of Frankenstein. That kind of helps me out to give me a feel of what he should look like, or at least somewhat. You know, this is folk art, so it's going to have a feeling of this, but it's really not going to look like this. And this is my animal that is always with me. This is Tank, the amazing bulldog. Okay, here you see I've set the eyes in, and I'm going to be having them at a slant, so they're going to look tired and dead looking. Um, the nose is starting to round out more. The mouth is indicated there. Uh, you can see I'm working the top of the head to slope out uh, the forehead a little bit and round this off right in here. Um, but the eyes are going to have a slant like that down them. The nose is going to be rounded out a little bit more and taper back a little bit more through here. I'm going to put more detail in here, carve that out, curve that, round this out more. So a lot to do. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm still using the chainsaw to rough some areas out around here. Also, I came in there a little tighter above the eyes, working that area as well. See how the head's coming along? I'm carving the top of the head, smoothing that out. Now you see we've got quite a bit done. Now I, I patched the eyes up a little bit because there was just so much checking that was going on throughout his head, which I like. I like that part. Up in his upper head and around his face, it looks like just exactly what you'd want Frankenstein to look with those checks going down and his face all sewed up. I got more of a grimace going on in his mouth now. Working on his shirt all the way down. And yeah, it's, it's coming along. The arms are going to be out on this thing, so I can't wait to put them on. Okay, now I'm using the Dremel tool to sand some areas right around the eyes a little bit smoother. Now you notice what I've done here. And I did some patchwork. I used uh, wood putty. Now you can see right here I'm working on this side. Doing a little bit more sanding. Clean it up. Okay, I'm cutting the legs and shoes and then leaving the bottom as a face. at a piece right now of river birch and this is going to be the arms of Frankenstein so I'll be cutting that up and then this will be the hands now notice there's a coincidence you're gonna see right here in a second look at this oh my gosh I wonder if I used my own hand all right now I'm going to take a dowel like this and I'm going to drill a hole through here. The dowel's going to go through and the arms are going to be able to swing back and forth, although mainly he's going to be up like this. Okay, now this drill bit has to be a little large to be able to go through this thing. We're going to start it right there.
Uh oh. Have you been marking the territory on my wood carving? You look guilty. Ready? All right, here are my sons, Brett and John Neal. They're gonna hoist the Frankenstein on top of the legs. Tank is watching behind. Okay, ready boys, take it away. Okay, they're doing good so far. They got the Frankenstein up. It's pretty heavy, pretty incredibly heavy. It's, it's on a wood glue base. Is that straight? Let us know. Okay, no. yeah, forward. just, there you go, right there. Slide it in just forward. a little bit, be a little forward. Yeah. That's that beautiful. It's okay, now now angle him, tilt him a little towards me. Yeah. Yeah, a little towards me. Your side, Brett. Yeah, stop. Ooh, that's good. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. A little more, a little more. more. A little more. I'm looking about right there. A little more? Okay. What do you need to do? Your way. Yeah, to, way. yeah there you go. Yeah, way? towards yeah. me. Two twist. Twist. A little more still, Brett. Really? Wow. Pretty yeah. Tiny. Oh, yeah. There, stop. Great. The hands are coming alive. Now this is frightening. Okay, now let's take a look at Frankenstein the monster's face. We're starting to paint in areas, shadowing the areas around the eyes, around the nose, under the nose even. You know, getting some contrast working in the mouth. This will all, now we're starting to put in some hair there. You can see that right in that area. Uh, we're getting his arm in place. We got his right arm, his left arm. We had to cut it to reshape it. So that's what we're up to right now. Okay, now I'm putting texture on the hand. Okay, just a little bit of texture here. Make it look kind of dirty and rough and dead. Because this is Frankenstein, remember. This is the finished Frankenstein, the monster. Frankenstein the monster was created to be standing in front of our front porch this Halloween when the dear sweet trick-or-treaters come asking for candy. 